Alrighty, so in the last video we just finished sanding and now in this video uh, we're going to finish up with assembling it, finishing it, and then wrapping everything up. Alright, let's get to it. Alrighty, so now I just need to figure out where I'm going to mount these in the initial sketchup I made of it. I had them being six inches on center and board for all is ten and a half. So, uh, where's my pencil? So, what we'll have to do is find half, so five and a quarter. That's out there. Be my half and I'm gonna draw. Three inches each side, so right there, and right there. Alrighty, and these are let's see three quarter inch wide, so they will be uh, yeah, like these. So, so these bad boys are gonna sit right about. There. Like that. Let me find my pencil. Alright. So. So. Let's figure out where our holes are going. Get a straight edge. Yeah. Roughly that high. Let's line them back up here. And up against that top line. Ah, this owl is too big. This will work. There we go. That is where two of our pilot holes will go. Now we've got this guy. Ready. Now, these shouldn't have to go in too terribly far. So, first one's fairly easy. And we don't have to go down all the way. That is the easy hole. If you recall, the other one's at a decent angle. So, for that one, ah, come on. We're gonna need to do a little more finagling.
so if I made my holes right and did my measurements right, yeah, that does not go all the way through. Not too bad. I'll go back through later and I'll plug those up. But let's see how she fits. Mm, not too bad. All in all. Fairly happy with that. In and out fairly easy. Not just gonna fall out. Oop. I am pretty happy with that. All right. Well, let's throw some stain on here and see what she looks like after that. Alrighty. So, just got it all cleaned up. I'm going to be using some dark walnut stain uh, just because I'm going for that kind of dark gritty kind of look for this and I'm not a huge fan of staining cedar but when you do and if it's a dark stain I really like the way the grains still pop but you still get a real nice dark color. I'm just gonna throw on some gloves here. So I have a horrible habit of not putting on gloves. I'm gonna walk around with stained hands for the next five, six days. No matter how much scrubbing I do, I just can't get it off. Alrighty. Now, just need to let her sit and fully dry for what I think three hours is what this particular one is. Uh, one hour has to sit and dry. So, we'll be back to take a look at it in an hour go from there so it turned out pretty good uh the stains pretty much all dry uh i really like how it looks uh at least in person it turned out pretty dang good so uh i'm gonna do something that might ruin everything <laughs> uh i'm gonna finish it off with just a bit of paste wax it's not gonna see much use or anything so i don't think i have to go through the trouble of using a polyurethane coat but i might because this paste wax is 
most definitely taking off some of the stain. So that's a no-go. All right. All right, so I went ahead and finished this with a spray lacquer, but I wasn't super satisfied with the stain, so I went through and burned it with a torch to try to give it some sort of scarring and whatnot from heat. And I think it turned out pretty good. It doesn't look great on camera. In person, though, it turned out pretty decent. I have a nice, uh, deep, uh, burned portion right here that turned out okay. Uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. I'll have to add some additional pictures on there. Something that'll, uh, capture it a little better. But to finish it off, I wanted to add some sort of plaque or something right here just to kind of fill it out a little more give it a little more detail and what have you uh so what i did was i grabbed a piece of pine wood and i cut it to size this guy right here i cut it to size i added two screw holes and then a countersink so the screws sit nice and flush and then i used a vinyl cutter to cut out a stencil for here uh in star wars made up language of arabesh uh i think it looks pretty good it basically just says be peaceful not harmless uh and i thought it'd kind of complete the look a little bit so i'm gonna fasten that right on there uh yeah so I just need to drill some holes, put her in. Alright, so I've got it all lined up right about where I want it. So now I just need to drill some pilot holes. Hang up here. And that should do the trick. So now all we have to do throw our screws in here that'll be just about complete all right those sit nice and flush underneath the surface and this is what we're left with Take your pick of whatever lightsaber you really want to put in there, and works pretty well. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. There's some things I definitely do differently. Uh, would have spent more time definitely working on the finish. That's for sure. Other than that, though. I'm pretty happy with that. So, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I find time to record another project. Throw her up. And with any luck, someone out there will actually like it. Alrighty.